Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures in TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over the stack data structure. What is a stack? A stack is a linear data structure, so we process elements in a linear-like fashion. And unlike the array and linked list, a stack only supports insertion and deletion from the top of the stack. So you can think of insertion and deletion of the stack like how you think of other stacks that you see in real life. So we pick items from the top and we don't do that from the middle or end. And this is called LIFO ordering, L-I-F-O, last in, first out. And you can see the pictures below. We have a stack of cookies, a stack of plates, and a stack of books. If you're going to insert, you're going to be placing elements on the pile from the top and also removing elements from the top. You're not going to insert or remove things from the middle or the bottom because they'll just make the stack fall. So the last one that goes in is the first one that comes out. So going back to the data structure in the code, these two operations are commonly referred to as pushing and popping. On the top we have on the top we have pushing and ignore this five right here that shouldn't be here, but we pop five off the stack. And if we want to insert elements, we can push elements onto the stack. So here we're pushing nine. And you can see that that removal and insertion are only happening from the top of the stack. A stack is found in a lot of places within tech and computers. One example is through browser history and editing history. You can think of your state of the history of both browsers and and text editors as a stack. When you want to go back to a previous website or you want to undo, you'll just pop off the last state on the stack. On the right here, we have a diagram, a small diagram, I don't know if you can see, of the call stack. So in programming languages, there's this thing called a call stack where when you, you, when you enter a execution, when you enter a function, the a function function call, like a function stack frame, gets inserted into the stack. And if you're familiar with recursion, you'll understand there's things called like stack overflow and stuff. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about, the last place that a stack is used is with graph algorithms like depth first search. The stack implementation is very easy. All we're doing is using a linked list and we're just using one end of the linked list. You can use the header tail. I prefer using the tail as the top of the stack. And you, we use a linked list and we only remove and insert from the back. Because we're using a linked list and we're pushing and popping from the tail, this is going to be constant amount of work. So pushing, popping, and peaking, which are the main operations supported by the stack data structure are all constant. And that's it. That's a very quick video, an overview of the stack. The stack is again, just a stack of plates and, and books and cookies. And it's used in a lot of places. It's very useful. And because we did most of our heavy lifting with the linked list, our stack implementation is going to be nice and easy. And yeah, they're all constant. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.